Hey yogis, I'm Claire Kagan. Welcome back to my channel where you learn to love yourself and others through yoga. Today's class is a quick 10 minute stretch that you can do at your desk. I recommend doing this when you've been working all day. So you've been kind of hunched over your screen or your book or whatever you're doing and you need a little bit of a release in your neck, shoulders and wrists especially. As always, if you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to this channel. New videos go up every Wednesday. If you want to support this work with donations, you can donate to the PayPal or the Venmo in the description below. You don't need any equipment for this class, so when you're ready, let's get started with some neck rolls. So starting to just roll your neck in a circle, start it with one direction, and we'll switch shortly. You can take your hands off of your desk and relax them down by your sides. Next time you get to the front, you can switch directions with your neck. And if there are any areas that are feeling a little bit extra resistant, spend some extra time there during your neck roll. Take an extra moment to take care of your neck muscles. The next time that you get to the center, you can come back up to neutral. Extend your hands out in front of you, bend your elbows and interlace them behind your neck, behind the nape of your neck. Draw your elbows toward each other in front of your face and start to bring your chin closer down toward your chest. Relax your shoulders. We're just using our hands on the back of our head here to weight down the head and provide a little extra stretch in the back of the neck. On your inhale, come back up to center. We'll take some shoulder rolls once in one direction and then you can switch and roll them in the opposite direction. Here we're going to stick our arms out to a T shape. Bend your elbows to bring your fingertips to the tops of your shoulders and just start to make some circles with your elbows. So draw a little circle, feel the way that your shoulders are articulating here in their joint. You can switch directions. And once you get back to center, you can release. Draw your right arm up to the ceiling, bend your right elbow so that your right fingertips reach in between your shoulder blades. You can stay just like this if this feels like enough of a stretch, or you can use your left hand to kind of help your right elbow move a little bit lower and press your right fingertips further down in between your shoulder blades. You can stay here, or if you wanna add an extra little stretch in your left arm, you can release it from your elbow, bring it down alongside your side, bend your elbow, and reach up toward your right fingertips with your left fingertips. Here is what that looks like from the back for cow face arms. It's okay if they don't interlace, you can just kind of reach them toward each other and that's just as good. Release your arms, you can shake them out, and we'll take the other sides to lift up your left arm. Bend your left elbow to reach your left fingertips toward the space between your shoulder blades. Stay here or use your right hand to press your left elbow down and bring your left fingertips further down your spine. Again, you have the option to add the second half of the cow face arms by dropping your right arm down alongside your side, bending your right elbow, and reaching up toward your left fingertips with your right fingertips. If you're taking this option, 
try pressing your head into your upper arm so that you're opening your chest and your armpit just a little bit more. And release. Next, interlace your fingers and face your palms away from you. Bring your palms to face the ceiling by bringing your arms up alongside your ears and start to stretch your palms up even higher so you can raise your shoulders a little bit and feel your spine starting to stretch out. So elongate all the way from the crown of your head to your tailbone. Feel your vertebra start to separate just a little bit as you lengthen your spine. On your next inhale, take a little back bend at the top of your spine and look up. As you exhale, bring your palms to push in front of you, round your spine and gaze toward your belly button, taking some seated cat cows here. So inhale, press your palms up, baby back bend and look up. And exhale, press your palms forward, round your spine and look down. Keep moving with your own breath. We'll go through three more cycles here. At the end of your next exhale, you can release your hands. Interlace them behind your tailbone and roll your shoulders down and back away from you. Open up your chest, look up, press your knuckles down toward or into the seat that you're sitting on. Spread your collarbones wide, lift your sternum up toward the ceiling. And exhale, come back to neutral. Bend both of your elbows and bring both fists to the right hip. You can stay here or you can add a neck stretch by bringing your right ear closer to your right shoulder. Stretching the left side of the neck here. Inhale, come back to neutral in the center. Exhale, bring both of your fists to your left hip. You can stay or for the next stretch, bend so that your left ear comes closer to your left shoulder, stretching out of your right side of your neck. You can probably feel a little stretch here as well through the right side of your chest and your right upper arm. Inhale, come back to center. We'll take a little twist here. So bring your left hand to the top of your right thigh, right hand behind you on the seat of your chair, and just start to turn your torso toward the right. You can go any amount here, so that's up to you. It doesn't have to be a super huge movement. But if you want to, you can continue the twist all the way through your neck by gazing over your right shoulder behind you. See if you can initiate this twist from the space around your belly button, from your waist, so that your hips are still facing forward, but your shoulders face toward the right. Inhale, come back to center. We'll switch sides. Bring your right hand to the top of your left thigh, left hand to the seat behind you, and twist to the left. Again, this can be as big or small of a movement as you want it to be. So you can just look toward the left, or you can gaze over your left shoulder behind you. That will add a little stretch in the neck if you choose that option. Let your shoulders settle down your back. On each inhale, focus on making your spine even taller. And on each exhale, focus on twisting a little bit deeper. Inhale, come back to center. 
Bring both arms down alongside your sides. Lift up your left arm and start to reach over toward the right with your left arm. Taking a little side bend through the left side of your body. Inhale, come back to center. Let both arms settle down alongside your sides and we'll switch sides. Lift up your right arm and reach over to your left on your exhale. Bending through the left side and stretching through the right side. Keep both of your sits bones rooted down into the chair. Inhale, come on back up to center. Our last stretch will be a wrist stretch for those of us who spend all day typing and whose wrists get a little bit tired at the end of our workday. So bring your hands to a prayer position at your heart center. Here, we're gonna keep our elbows at the same height, but start to draw your hands lower toward your belly button. And Try and keep them pressing into each other. So if you're feeling them start to come apart, that means you've gone a little too far. Come back up until they can touch again. Here we're stretching out of the front inner wrist. You can release and we'll do the opposite of that. So bring the backs of your hands together. And this time we'll keep our hands right where they are, but we're gonna move our elbows down. So just let your elbows kind of come a little bit lower. And just like before, we want to keep our hands pressed together. So if you feel them coming apart, lift your elbows a little bit. Here we're stretching through the backs of our wrists. And you can exhale, release. And that's the end of our workday stretch at your desk. So thank you so much for joining me for this little act of self-care in the middle of your day. I hope it made you feel refreshed and ready to take on the rest of your workday. And I hope to see you back here again soon. Namaste.